Yo, 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 friends, welcome back to the channel. Nice to review here back at it again with another Marvel Legends review. Today, we have Mach 1 from the Abomination Gameverse 2020 Build a Figure Wave. Let's review. Okay, so we have that box window giving us a preview of the figure and that scary little face inside. <laughs> and we have that Legend Series logo on the top center, as well as that cool Marvel logo and Mach 1's name in that red band. The little Hasbro logo on the bottom right and the Build-A-Figure that this wave features. On the left side of the packaging we have that sweet artwork of Mach 1. Same thing goes for the right side of the packaging. Turning this bad boy around, as you can see we have that sweet artwork. We have the Abomination, the Build-A-Figure that this wave features. And all of the other figures in this wave, can't wait to review them all. And here's the read-up, let's get to it. If you can read it fast or go ahead and pause it, go ahead and do so. With all of that out of the way, let's break this bad boy open and review the figure. Here he is, out of the packaging, looking really, really fresh. Now, I really would have liked this guy to come with some extra missiles or like, you know, some sort of accessories, like maybe even those little uh, blasts that come out of Iron Man's feet. Nonetheless, he's a great figure, so let's take a closer look at articulation. Mach 1 has 23 whopping points of articulation. His head does rest on that ball hinge joint. We have those uh, sh hinge joints in the shoulder area, kind of hindered by the shoulder pads though. The slits in the bicep area allow him to swivel. We do have the double jointed elbows as well as those essential hinge joints in the wrist. He has that A slit in the upper diaphragm as well as the slit going across the waist. He does have both of those pelvic hinge joints as well as the slit in both of the thighs, the double jointed knees, and to finish it off, the hinge joints in the ankles. Taking a look at Mach 1's head, as you can see, Mach 1 can look left about this far, and look right about this far. Mach 1 can look up about that high, and look down this low with ease. There is a little bit of head pivoting movement with Mach 1's head, which is pretty cool. Like most Marvel Legends before him, he has 5 points of articulation in each arm with that hinge joint in the shoulder area as well as that slit in the bicep, the double jointed elbows that I mentioned before, and the hinge joint in the wrist. The hinge joint under the shoulder allows for quite a bit of movement despite being hindered by the bulky shoulder pads and can only reach forward about this much. He's limited in movement. The double jointed elbows allows for quite a bit fair posing as you can see as well as that hinge joint in the wrist hinging up and hinging down. Kind of loose though. That slit in the bicep giving him that swivel action and more posing capabilities. With two points of articulation, he does have that A slit in the upper diaphragm and that slit going across the waist. Mach 1 can also swivel left about that far, as well as swiveling right this far. Being able to crunch forward about this much and crunch back about this much gives him quite a bit of movement. Below the belt, he's a bit of a downgrade from the Beetle figure, as he only has 5 points of articulation in each leg. Not being 6, we do not have that slit in the calf area for that swivel action. Now Mach 1 can kick forward about that high, and kick back about this much as well. We have those slits in both of the thigh area, giving him that swivel movement. A little bit stiff, so you're gonna have to force it a little bit, at least with my figure. He has those double jointed knees, giving him that 90 degree angle. Hinging down with that hinge joint. 
and hinging up this much with that hinge joint in the ankles. We also have that ankle pivot. Let's not forget that ankle pivot. Mach 1 can do the splits about that far. Now this is a great figure, but it doesn't mean that it's perfect. This back piece, I do wish it came with missiles or something. Um, it's not detachable, so it, it kind of gets in the way a little bit. Um, it's all just one big bulky piece. Like I said, just glued right on the back there. And these bulky shoulder pads are kind of bothersome. They just get in the way when you're trying to pose it. But it's a great figure. Here's Mach 1 right next to Carnage, a Spider-Man villain I just happen to own on the shelves. Here's Mach 1 right next to Venom, another Spider-Man villain I just happen to own on the shelves. And taking another villain right off the shelf of Spider-Man, here is the Shocker. Here is Mach 1 right next to his other persona, Beetle. And here is Mach 1 right next to Marvel, the first figure in this wave that I just happened to review. And here he is right beside Rage, the other figure in this wave that I've reviewed. If you haven't seen it, go check it out now. And just before we finish off with this video, I had to throw Mach 1 right beside Songbird and Citizen V, the other members of the Thunderbolts. They're kind of releasing these separately in different waves, which is a little frustrating. But I can only imagine the Thunderbolt fans are going to be hunting these down, and I'm glad I have them. Alright you guys, that about does it for this video. We're going to be getting Leader tomorrow and Kamala Khan on Friday, so stay tuned for that you guys. And if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up, please subscribe, leave a comment if you guys will. You guys should know the drill. I am out of here. Peace out.